All right, guys, so since a couple of MMOs and Dan TDM have both got an N60 tag team title match in their future, Dan and Pat thought, we've got a chance at actual N60 gold here. We might as well give this tag team thing a little bit of a spin. So uh, Dan TDM, in the older backstage area, paid a visit to my man. My main man, say it loud, say it proud, he's my man, Matt Rubio. And uh, he asked uh, Matt Rubio to give uh, him and Pat a little bit of a tag team turmoil situation. They were just going to try their hand. He wanted Matt Rubio to keep sending tag teams down. Down and Matt Pat would knock him down. Once they knock him down, send another one on. So uh, Dan and Pat are going to be uh, rushing up on their tag team skills in, well, we, we think at least one match. It might not be. Maybe they, maybe they suck as a team. And their first opponent, who is, who is Matt Rubio found? Well, well, well. Matt Rubio is sending T-Series for the first time that we've seen them in an N60 sanctioned match. They had like an impromptu brawl with PewDiePie, but now Matt Rubio is sending T-Series down to face Dan and Pat in a tag team turmoil situation. So important to know, whoever beats Dan and Pat, if they get beaten, it's good, you know, they could just go on forever. Uh, they don't get their title match or any gubbins like that. This is, this is merely Dan and Pat putting in some practice for their tag team um, futures, as well as their tag team hopes and aspirations, and for our own personal entertainment, for your guys' entertainment. So uh, smash that like button, guys. Smash that like button so this is going to be a unique situation uh, PewDiePie is uh, business is being dealt with uh, thanks to Dan TDM and Popper Mo's can if PewDiePie can't beat T-Series which who knows how that's going to end up can Popper Mo's I mean he's beating everyone else on the roster and look at this uh, T-Series dual jack into Pat and Pat now is just going straight in with an overhead belly to belly suplex. How formidable are T-Series as a team to another belly to belly suplex. Gets away, hang on a second. We're getting footage from the Villanation Chamber. We saw that Pluto had kidnapped Detective Pikachu. We don't know where he was being taken, but now we do know he is in the Villanation Chamber where the last time we, 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 were, uh, we popped over there for a horrible visit, we saw that Pluto was dismantling Ennard for the Five Nights at Freddy's crew. Wild. That doesn't look good for Detective Pikachu as he is just getting slapped about by Cluto. And now Detective Pikachu kicking at the quadriceps of Cluto and trying to send him away. I don't know what De Detective Pikachu's chances of escaping that situation are as Pat now has managed to find himself in a little bit of trouble against T-Series. Could Dan and Pat's dream of trying to be a tag team go up and smoke here? Also important to know that both of these guys are still in the YouTuber tournament. There's every chance that, you know, we could have tag team champions facing off each other should they be successful. I mean, there's no, no reason to say that they will be. There's a, they've got a long way to go yet before they can uh, dethrone Webblecott. Oh, as a double super kick. I mean, that could be it. Dan TDM. He's got his hand quick, calling out for a tag. Pat could be in trouble here. Kicking out at one. Now, there's no guarantee that they'd even get to the semi-finals with uh, Pat looking to face Chris Danger in the quarterfinals and Dan TDM facing his nemesis, Ninja. So, who knows what's going to happen there? Oh, there's a big F5. An F5 with authority to one of the members of T-Series. Pat hooks the leg here. One, two... Well, that's made short work of that. Pat with making short work of T-Series. T-Series, who in whatever current incarnation they are, aren't exactly starting fires in the tag team division, but then they are facing a prime popper of those. Double super kick. That was when we thought Pat was in danger. That, that double super kick could have loosened a few molars. Oh, interesting situation. Business picking up here as tag team number two. Well, I say this, Chris, Chris Danger and Brandon Collins. Now, these two in a team which uh, it's being dubbed Danger Does Everything. 
These two are buddies. They, are, they, they play Fortnite together. Two big uh, stalwarts of the WWE gaming community. Brandon was beaten by Popper and Mose in the first round of the YouTuber tournament. And Danger looks like he's going to be facing Pat in the quarterfinal. So lots of interesting things here. I mean, Danger could be facing Dan in the semis. Should things... Should he get past Pat in Dan? Look, lots of potential here for interesting storylines. Smash that like button. <laughs> Smash that like button. Well, so Brandon probably... I mean, look at the, look at the absolute audacity of these guys. I mean, Dan and Pat just letting them do their poses and stuff. Scenes. Are you boys going to start? Uh, in the middle of the second round of a tag team turmoil. Usually, man, going to run down there and deal with stuff. No. Danger and Collins are doing their full-on pose. It's our first time as a tag team. We're having our full-on entrance, and there's not a gosh darn thing anyone's going to do about it. Shen, we're ringing the bell as we get to our second point. Oh, and this is how Pat and Brandon started their match. And Brandon, I think, is going to want revenge for being knocked out in the first round. He came so close to causing the upset of N60 history by beating Pat in the first round. And, you know, again, I think a victory here by any tag team is going to get themselves in with a sniff of those tag team titles. As uh, Brandon now hammering away on the side of the head of Pat and getting him to his feet. And the dog, oh, 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 Detective Pikachu. I don't think I'd feel sorry for Detective Pikachu, but look at him. Desperately just trying anything to try and escape. And I don't think it's going to be, I don't think that's going to help you, Pikachu. There's a big old roof in the way, mate. And now Pluto giving chase to Detective Pikachu. And you are in a whole world of trouble there, Pikachu. As he gets thrown from the side of the chamber. And I don't think, I think we might be finding out what Pluto is up to in the chamber as Brandon now gets tagged in. I don't remember Danger being in there. Maybe that was happening while Detective Pikachu was getting getting a lot of sadness inserted into his life. Nice little code breaker for by Brandon. And Brandon's still in control. Make the tag, Pat. You haven't made a tag yet. I mean, is that going to be the flaw of Dan TDM in Popper and Mose? Is Are they going to... Because they're long-time rivals, really. And oh, hang on. Oh, Brandon's just got dumped out of the ring like a stinking, steaming sack of hot garbage. And now, finally, Dan TDM gets tagged in here. Now what's that DDM going for? Bounces off the ropes and dives through the ropes. Suicide dive knocking down Brandon. And now Dan TDM, fresh man in this match. I mean, you think coming in at number two of a tag team turmoil match would give you the advantage. But Dan TDM has seen zero action in this one, unless you count the heat of his pyro. And there's a, oh, with Brandon with too much agility, uh, managing to uh, avoid that one. Brandon now with an elbow drop. Chris Danger looking primed and ready. Detective Pikachu, wherever he is, is probably in a sad, sad place. And oh, that's a nice little, um, that's a code breaker to Dan TDM. And as um, Brandon drops down with his super snow, Dan manages to reverse out of it. And Spider Monkey DDT. Just smash that like button, guys. If you want to see Big Chunkus in more action, let me know in the comments. You want to see Big Chunkus in another match? Because I do. I really want to see Big Chunkus in more matches. Big Chunkus versus Uganda Knuckles, anybody? Super kick from Brandon Collins. Tags in Chris Danger. Danger. Oh, sit down, Dan TDM. And straight jacket German suplex, but far too near the ropes for Dan TDM. Oh, that danger. Swing and a miss. Uh, you got to hit those. You got to hit those with Dan TDM. Irish whip. Sending danger into the corner. Makes the tag to Popper and Mose. Oh, look at that. Look at Pat. Nimble is a little ferret there. Is that a phrase? Oh, my splash. The ferret splash from Pat. Oh, and he's, oh, he tried to take the cheap shot at Brandon, but walked straight into a kick. And, oh, wait. Hang on a second. Danger's got Pat rolled up. Two and just manages to kick out. Danger and Collins putting in a nice little performance here. Nice little, uh, nice little session. Doing a lot better than T-Series did in this one. And again, oh wait, oh, and another double super kick to Pat. How many more of these is his jaw gonna take? Brandon's gone for the cover. This could be it, one, two. Oh, could have been Upset City. Could have been Upset City. But no, 
Oh, that's going to be upsetting. That will upset Brandon. Big old knee. Oh, look at the straight the path. Not for the first time. Brandon's been slammed down and dropped on his head. Can Bra I mean, Brandon come so close, man. He's got the heart. He's got the tenacity. He's like Mustafa Ali. He's like 2013 Daniel Bryan. But I don't know if maybe the team of Dan TDM and Pat, two great individual competitors, but are they going to be a great team? Pat, with tag team experience. I mean, this is nice, isn't it? Oh, and the doomsday powerbomb device. And oh, I think Dan identified that Brandon could have been looking for a tag there. It would have been a smart time for a tag, but Dan's cut that out. Irish whip. And now Pat's tagged in. And oh, could be a problem here. Full Nelson hoisting him up. Maybe going for another powerbomb situation. Pat dropping Brandon with the powerbomb. Another kick to the midsection. Oh, mate, this is not looking good for Brandon. We've seen this move before. Pat twisting that breaker. That is a sick move. That is a sick, sick move. Big fan of that. And oh, here we go. Here's another... Stalwater, Pat's Arsenal, F5. I think that might have been too much for Brandon. Danger eliminated from the, from the side. Dan getting tagged in here. And probably sizing Brandon up. Maybe looking for the diamond cutter here. Brandon in a whole lot of trouble. Goes for it. No, doesn't quite get it. I mean, come on. Brandon Danger beat this. Two, I think, would be a disappointing tag team turmoil return for Dan and Pat. But it's looking like that Brandon might have the resilience to get through this. And a spring ball, oh my days, that is unbelievable scenes. Rainbow diamond cutter. Pat sliding into the ring, represent two, and that's three. Brandon and Danger after a gutsy performance. And Dan and Pat win their second match in a row. Who is Matt Rubio going to send down here? I don't know how much of these guys are going to have left. I think Danger and, uh, Danger and Brandon would have uh, taken a lot out of them there. Oh, it's Marshmallow, which probably assumes interesting. Dan TDM's current rival is in a heat and feud with Ninja. So Marshmallow and Ninja, the third team in the tournament. The way. Hang on, there's Ninja sliding from behind. And Ninja Sneak attacking Dan TDM and taking out his partner Puffer of the most. And Ninja once again showing that he has got Dan TDM's number. He is one up in Dan TDM. It's almost like saying that Ninja is the new face of this. He is new school. Dan TDM old school. And Ninja has got all the tricks. His referee rings the bell. Are we going to call a disqualification for that referee? No? Well, we don't want disqualifications in this one. We're just going to let Marshmallow. Yeah, it looks like it. Referee Shen Wu absolutely fine with that. Unbelievable scenes. That's how Derek Nelson ended up being written out of the storylines. Oh, ninja kick to the side of the head and Pat's just been decked with a chair again. And once again, one, two, and that's three. And Ninja once again getting the better of Dan TDM in a in, in seven out of ten showing as a team from Dan and Pat. And we'll get, hang on a second, I think we're getting back to the Villaination Chamber. As Ninja celebrates, Ninja Marshmallow. <laughs>